Hello everyone, it is me, Mary, and I am here today with an amazing deal for you. Yes, it is going to be great, great, great. <laughs> okay, I know that that sounded a little bit forced. Um, I'm just really not into faking stuff and my enthusiasm is relatively low today. We all have bad days and different things that affect us in a negative way. So that is one of my days today and I'm really sorry about that. However, I believe that it was imperative for me to bring these types of deals to you seeing as how they're going to end relatively soon and I wanted you to be able to capitalize on these deals to save for the babies and other people that you could potentially donate to or even for personal use. So I did a video the other day. It was a $15 challenge on school supplies and I was able to gather a lot of different school supplies and present that to y'all. Um, one of the things that I continually um, began to hear was the fact that you may not have had an Office Depot or an Office Max near you. So what happens in the event that you don't have one of these stores near you? Now, I understand we only have one of these stores in the entire state of Maine, and it's about a 30-minute drive away from me. I would not have went to these stores, or this one store in particular, if I did not have a YouTube page. However, I wanted to bring the best deals that I could to all of my subscribers to ensure that you were able to get these deals to help your children and potentially other people, as previously mentioned. <laughs> So, um, what happens if you do not have an Office Depot in your area, Office Depot slash, slash Office Max, or even a Staples, because at times Staples have different types of deals available, especially this time of the year, and if you don't have one near you, then you could be really kind of bummed, unable to get these products. Another issue that um, even I encountered was when you go into these stores, if they don't have the products that you're looking for, they don't do rain checks, you know, so it's first come, first serve, and it's all on product availability, and that's it. So what happens in that event? Um, there are alternatives, and one of the largest alternatives that I would mention to you is going to be Walmart. Now, I know that a lot of Walmarts are phasing out the um, price matching, and there are some Walmarts who have already phased this out. So if your Walmart does not do this, I completely understand. I'm sorry that this is you know, not available at your store, so this video would not necessarily apply to you. Okay, guys? So I'm sorry about that, but there are many others who do still have price matching available, and I want to help everyone that I can, okay? So, what did I find today at Walmart? Um, one of the things that I would have capitalized on would have been Staples. They had the BIC products for $0.74, cents. $0.75. So, if you had the dollar off coupon, that would have been a $0.25 cent money maker. And at Walmart, you really have two different options. You have the option of using your overages to roll towards different items in your transaction, or you can just get paid and they'll hand you the cash back. Now, whenever something like this happens and there is an overage, they are going to have to call a manager. So don't think that anything weird is going to happen. That's just their coupon policy. And the actual system requires that a supervisor comes to the register in the event that there is an overage. In addition to that, if the percentage of coupons are more than like 50% of the entire total, they do have to call a manager as well. And I think there's a limitation, not a limitation per se, but if there's a certain amount of coupons entered in as far as quantity of coupons, typically a supervisor would have to come over as well. So if you have a supervisor come over, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's a problem. That just means that that's their protocol, okay? So I wouldn't um, get very nervous about this when this happens. So if you were utilizing that particular coupon, this would be a better bet to do it at Walmart prior to Staples because you will get that cash back, which you can use to other items or just put the money in your pocket. So <laughs> one of the two. Um, I did use all of the bit coupons, so it's not something that I could um, do at that point. Now, what did I do? There were some items that I really wanted that I was unable to get at Staples. So let's look at, excuse me, at Office Depot. So let's look at a few of these and see what I did. Um, 
And something about price matching, just so you know, price matching on deals, sometimes it will not work. So if you have the, you know, spend $5, get a penny item, that's not going to work, okay guys? Extra care buck types of deals, that's not going to work either. All they're going to do is match the item as long as it has a price, okay? So you have to have a particular item, the item has to correspond with the ad, and there has to be a clear price listed for um, Walmart to do price matching. Now, the other day, if you saw my video about getting kicked out of <laughs> Walmart, um, there is nothing that says in their policy that you cannot use a coupon when you're price matching. There is nothing at all in that policy, okay? Um, I ended up actually getting a call from the general manager who apologized and ensured me that more action would be taken than just speaking to her and educating her about the actual um, policy. So I'm very excited about that. So what happens here? Um, you can use a coupon. If they tell you you can't with a price match, just very politely ask to speak to the general manager or the store manager and then discuss it with them because a lot of times cashiers or even assistant or CSMs, they are not very well educated on the coupon policy, okay? So you can go above their head. Just do it in a nice manner, all right? So what are the items that I was able to capitalize on? Um, one of the deals here that I decided to do was the colored pencils. They had to be the 12 count. They were Crayola. It said very specifically that they were 50 cents. Okay, so that right there could be utilized in this promotion. So I ended up picking up one of these, well, two of these for the purpose of this video. 50 cents is a really good price for these particular items. Um, I can end up getting them for free. However, for the video and instructional purposes, I decided to do this for y'all to show different varieties or items that you can get, okay? So they were marked down on rollback for 97 cents. The rollback was from a dollar and 84 cents, so that's absolutely a savings there, guys. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. Now, the next item that I decided to do was the Uniball. These were something that I was really, really happy about. Um, they did not have, and those colored pencils that I got at Office Depot, I got every single one that I could as far as the limitation. So they had no more. So if I wanted to get more at that price, I would not have been able to do so. So, hi kitty. So um, this was important to me to be able to get more of these items. And I was happy to do so at 50 cents, even though I was not trying to get to that $5 to get the penny deals. Now, the next one that I wanted to get here, I really like these. These are Uniball gel pens, the 207s. As you see, I got the four count. They did have the one that had the red and the blue and then black. However, just to prevent any problems at the register, um, I decided to go ahead and get the ones that absolutely matched the ad which was the $1, they're all black, um, and it says the Uniball 207 gel pens, and it clearly states the four pack. So that's what I decided to purchase, okay? So not only does it match the picture, but it matches the quantity, and it's the right price. So these are what I picked up. I just picked up two of these um, because I really didn't want to spend the money out of pocket, and I don't know that I can get those for free in the future, um, but, you know, I get so many pins for free that I really wasn't worried about it. But I do have a brand preference to those. So as we see here, um, they were $4.97, guys. So, yep, that's regular price. No rollback, $4.97. And I picked them up for just $1 each. So that is a really, really good price. What is that like? $9.94, like really, really good price, guys. So, is that what that is? I don't even know what that is. Let's see, 448. I don't know what it is, guys. I am not filling it today, like 80 cents. I don't know, whatever it is. I don't care. I will think of the math before the end of this video and I will let you know. <laughs> So, sorry, and I'm sure I'm going to get some comments um, in the end because I definitely get comments whenever I make any type of a mistake in any of my videos. 
Yeah, um, people are very quick to, um, you know, correct me. So, not that I, you know, have an issue with that. I'm very happy that people correct me. However, I'm just bringing it up, guys. Okay. So yes, and actually, I was right. Nine ninety four. Look at that. I can actually add. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so here we go. The next item that I decided to get, which I was very excited about, um, they were sold out of these at um, Office Depot as they were the pens. And these are the Sharpies here. Okay, so these are the five counts. Um, they do show the colored ones. However, I could not find the colored ones at Walmart. So I was very excited to pick up the Sharpies. I love Sharpies. I use them for a lot of things. Um, this will be more so for a personal use. I don't really know a big reason why a lot of kids need those. Um, very messy. I sure don't want my kids to have them. So these right here, they were put down to $3.97 at Walmart. They were on rollback from $4.34. So I was able to get those. So what ended up happening? I utilized this ad. I went to customer service. I know a lot of people have told me that you can just go to any cash register. The reason I don't go to cash registers is number one, a lot of times they'll end up calling a manager for some reason saying they don't know if they can do that. In addition to that at Walmart with the lines being the way they are, I don't like holding up lines because I think that that really starts to bring a negative impression on couponers in general and I know some people don't care um, but I do care so I try not to do that to each his own I could go to self-checkout which is my preference when I coupon I coupon at self-checkout it takes a little bit longer because it takes a while for the coupon to actually be accepted into the machine but that's what I do however it was very busy when I went in there today and I just decided not to deal with that so I just went to customer service and this happened to be the best deal for me I had not one issue the lady was very very nice um, she matched everything with no problem. She did just check and make sure that the items were in the ad and they corresponded and my total was five dollars and that was my subtotal. So I think this is an amazing deal and I wanted y'all to know that you can do these types of deals. Don't get discouraged when you see the Office Depot because everything typically does get sold out really quick. So please don't get discouraged. Just do it at Walmart and save yourself the hassle, okay guys? You won't be able to capitalize on the penny deals. However, um, you know, if you can't find the product at Office Depot, you can't. And you have to consider gas too. So, you know, just take it for what it's worth. These types of items were definitely worth it for me to go to Walmart. This particular promotion will end on the 30th. So what I would say to you is to go ahead and handle this tomorrow because you're not going to be able to do this after tomorrow. Okay, guys. Um, if you do not have a copy of the ad, alternatively, what you can do is have your smartphone. Typically, when you have an ad pulled up on the smartphone, they're going to want to refresh to ensure that it is a proper ad. Sometimes people have a problem with it being on a mobile device. However, if you don't have an ad and this is the only thing that you can do, that's the only thing you can do, guys. Okay, so I hope y'all found this video helpful. Um, and I really hope that this kind of lets you know that you can get these savings for the kids, not only for the kids, but also for different types of sale items that you may be interested in that you can't find somewhere else. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. If you have yet to subscribe, please subscribe because we always do these types of deals and more. Thank you so much, and sorry for the placid attitude, guys. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Bye.